it's Christy, I am back on YouTube. It is festival season, so it is only right for me to do a festival makeup inspired look. Um, this is what I've gone for today. I have completely winged it and it's actually looking really, really nice. Um, if you like this look, carry on watching and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so after moisturising my face, I use the Naked Foundation by Urban Decay in the shade 5.0. I am using the Vanity Planet foundation brush and flat top brush to apply and blend in. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Kiko Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 001 with my MAC 195 concealer brush to apply on my dark circles, blemishes and under the eyebrow. And then using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend everything out. To set my face makeup, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralizer Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden with my MAC 82 Kabuki Brush. Moving on to eyebrows, I am using a NYX Tame and Frame Eyebrow Promade in the shade Espresso to fill and darken my eyebrows to make them flaky. Before I start my eyeshadow, I am going to apply the NYX Proof it waterproof eyeshadow primer to help my eyeshadow stay a lot longer and to also make the colours pop. And to set that primer, I am going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette and I'm going to use the eyeshadow nudie with my fluffy base shadow brush from Real Techniques. And now for the fun part, I am going to go ahead and use my Sleek Ultra Matte Brights palette. I'm going to take the dark pink shade to work around my crease line and focusing only on the crease line as if you were using a cut crease technique. And now taking the bright orange shade in the same palette, I am just patting that onto my eyelid. The more you pat the better and the brighter the colour becomes. So just slowly work your way through it until you're happy with the opaqueness of the colour. Going back to my Naked Ultimate Basics palette, I am going in with Extra Bitter with the Lottie Crease Brush just to sort of darken the transition shade in between the pink and the orange. Moving on to my favourite bit, I am using the Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow by Urban Decay in the shade Recharge to line um, the upper crease of my eyelids. This took me very long. Take your time, this doesn't need to be rushed. If you mess this up, then you're going to have to go whole eye look all over again. And now we're going to take it. Okay, so assuming that you managed to nail that upper eye liner, we are going to go with the Rimmel London Glam Eye Professional Liquid Eyeliner in Black Glamour to line your upper lash line or wing it and make it look hella flicky. Okay, so I have eyelash extensions, so I'm using a spoolie to comb out any unwanted eyeliner on my lashes, but in this step you can definitely use mascara or falsies. And going back with my pink and orange eyeshadow, I am using that to line my waterline just maybe halfway in. Taking recharge again, I am lining my inner corner and shaping it like a cat eye. To even up my bottom lashes, I am going to be using the Lash Accelerator Endless by Rimmel. To add colour to the rest of my face, I am going to be using the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in the colour 025 Sun Glow. And I'm applying that below my cheekbones and just above my eyebrow to add some definition. For blush, I'm going to be using the Milani Powder Blush in Tea Rose and applying that on my apples of my cheek. And for highlighter, I am obviously going to use my Holy Grail MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm using this on the top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow as well to give all those areas a bit of a pop. And for lips, I am going to be using the MAC MAC Lipstick in Velvet Teddy to finish off the look. But before I finish this look, I forgot to blend, so I'm taking my Real Techniques Fluffy brush to help blend any harsh lines and edges. And also, going back with my Urban Decay palette, I am going to be using the shade Blow in our inner corners just to make the eyeshadow pop even more. And don't forget the under eyebrow as well. Okay, great, so now that my makeup is done, I am going to go ahead and take off my mini mouse ears and start doing my hair. 
which is splitting my hair into two to create little space bands I am literally pulling my hair through the hair band until halfway through and then pulling to make the bun bigger and then when you're happy with the size go ahead and grab a couple of grips and then pin them down anything that looks funny and then once you're happy with that do the same on the other side and as simple as that we have finished So that is the finished look and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like this video and you want to see more of me, please like, comment and subscribe. It's normally not in the order but hey ho and I'll see you next time.